So if you guys, and this is the notes for this, is writing the, writing the equation. Writing the equation of a quadratic of a line, basically. So now, two things we need to remember. If I'm asking you to write the equation, um, we know that y equals a times x minus h squared plus k is vertex form, right? And y equals a times x squared plus bx plus c is going to be, um, is going to be standard form. Hopefully, you guys are familiar with how to go from standard form to vertex form and how to graph if it's in vertex form or if it's in standard form. Yes? That should be like basically the whole what this chapter is about. Now, the next thing, though, is what if I give you information like I did here? We have a vertex and we have a point. How can I write the equation of a line? Now, when we're given two points like this, the main important thing I want you guys to do is think about, all right, if we know what the vertex is, vertex we represented with what letters? Nope. Yeah, they are a point. You can represent them with x and y, because in reality, they are a point that lies on the line. However, specifically, we always like to use h and k. And then for any other point that was not, the reason why we use h and k is because that was a specific point, right? The vertex is the absolute highest or absolute minimum. However, it is a point. It is an xy point on the graph. But for all the other points that were on the line, we used x and y. Because remember, you know, the a, that basically tells you your compression. So ladies and gentlemen, if I want to write the equation of this parabola, all I simply need to do is just plug in this information using the vertex form. Do you see how this has an x and a y and h and a k? If I plug in all this information, what is the only letter I still have to solve for? A. Because I know what y is. y is the point that it has to go through. So I'd say 9 is equal to a times x, which is 6 minus 2 squared um, minus 3. Does everybody see what I did? Now we just go and simplify. 6 minus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Then I just go ahead and solve for a now. Just add 3. So I have 12 equals 9a. Divide by 9. Divide by 9. 9 does not evenly divide into 12. Yes, did I do something wrong? It's 4. You're right, that's 16. Thank you. Thank you. Still going to give us a fraction. So, but now we have a fraction. So now we know that this divides out. So now I have 12 over 16. Well, that's going to be a fraction. Um, but I can reduce that. What is the what number divides into 12 divides 16? What's the largest number? 4. So that can reduce down to 3 fourths, right? A is equal to 3 fourths. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I know A, and I know H and my K. When we're writing the equation of the line, the equation of the line is, is an equation that works for all, an infinite many points. So we're going to leave x and y now back alone. We only plugged in x and y so we could find the value of a. Now, to write the our final equation of our line, we'll say y equals 3 fourths times x minus 2 squared minus 3. OK? Does that make sense? Now, that's the equation of the line in vertex form. What if I ask you, what is the equation of the line in standard form? Well, I wouldn't want you guys to go back and, you, and plug in x and y, because the thing is, we can't plug in h and k here, right? We can only plug in x and y. And if we only plugged in x and y, we'd have to find the values for a, b, and c. So what I can do, though, is can I simplify this? Can I expand x minus 2 squared? Remember we did that in our focus lesson? y equals 3 fourths x minus 2 squared 
x minus 2 times x minus 2. If you guys apply FOIL, or if you apply the box method, what you'll get is x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 3. Does everybody agree with me on what I just did? I multiplied this out. I just did it in my head. I just didn't show the work because I'm trying to move along. So you'd have to apply FOIL for that. Then I really don't, um, now I need to apply distributive property. So y equals 3 fourths x squared. This, the 4's will divide out. So that's a negative 3x. Again, the 4's divide out. So that's going to be um, plus 3 minus 3. And your final answer in standard form would be that. All right, I skipped by some algebra steps to make sure that I could move along with this. Obviously, it'll be.